mushrooms. Okay, we're going to cut the tops off like this. Leave as much white as we can. Yay. This is two bunches. The recipe I posted calls for one, but there are more of us. So, like I said, I'm going to cut this part thin. And when I get to the green, I'm going to go to about a half an inch. Maybe a little more. I always toss the ends because I don't like them. Okay, green onions. Garlic next. Everybody seems to have their own technique for doing this. I'll show you mine. You come up with whatever works for you. This is how I do it. I cut off that end. And I cut off that end. Hopefully, yes. And break and I just peel off the bits. Side. Sometimes, if you're gentle, you can get bits of it to peel off. Like that. I'm not doing this with a ceramic knife because in a moment I'm going to smash these things flat. I don't like to do any kind of vigorous smashing with the ceramic blade. It's super sharp, but it's also pretty delicate. I'm also making a hell of a mess over there. That's okay, we'll clean it up in a bit. If you don't know how much garlic you like, this is probably too much. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the garlic piece, try and get it on the part that doesn't rock. And put the knife right there. That's what you get. You don't want to smash it partly because there's an edge right there, and because the garlic is really not an even shape. But if you kind of press down, you can hear it pop. There we go. Let's switch over with a nicer knife. So I'm trying to keep my fingers back away from the edge. You really should curl your hands. I'm not the most amazing at chopping by any stretch of the imagination. But I haven't lost a finger yet, so I must be doing something right. Like I said in the recipe, I'm not aiming for any particular size. I'm not trying to be careful here. The end result, you'll have some of this garlic it almost completely dissolves into the food, and some of it that remains is big hunks that are kind of sweet and tasty. So, that's what we want. There you go, garlic. Okay, like I said, we're going to leave that. I'm going to rinse this off soon enough.
I'll use that again, but I don't want to get any of the skin of the garlic in the food layer. So, leave that aside. Switch cutting boards for the chicken. Okay, let's see what we got here. These are chicken breast cutlets. Nice and wide. I don't particularly like this bit right here, so I cut it off every time. I might have a different opinion. I'm going to make strips just about like that. some of the fat on the edges. Again, you may not care about that. I have like a thing. Also, if you notice, there's this tendon right here. Since I can see it easily, I'm just going to cut against it like that. There are easier ways to get this out, but my knife is incredibly sharp. So, I'm just going to cut it out. Here's my chicken. This goes in the bag. Goes in the trash immediately. So I've got one hand that is relatively clean, one hand that is definitely not clean. Um, I'm just going to spread this out. Then I'm going to wash my hands in the knife. Alright, I'm just going to kind of salt, not with any real seriousness here, pepper, we talked about pepper mills, this is one that I bought because I was out somewhere, somewhere I don't even remember when, and had to cook and didn't have one around so I just bought it, um, it's not what I normally use but I'm using it up. So we'll leave that and then uh, let's go over to the pan.